Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I'm back for more Tomba, or Tombi. Uh, and in today's episode we are going to be going through the Forest of 100 Flowers. And let me just put my save data in this bottom slot so I don't mix them up. Uh, and we're going to be visiting the Dwarf Village. So last episode we obviously started things rolling. We went through the town of beginning. And we spoke to the 100 year old wise man who told us to go seek out the uh, Dwarf Elder. So that's what we're going to do now. But first we need to learn the language. Which is what we're currently doing. And then I finished off the last episode by checking up all the leaf butterflies which we will need for a later quest. Don't forget to make sure you're emptying these pumps out as well as you go along. Sorry, I've got to land on my head here a little bit. Alright, here we are at the Dwarf Village then. We're going to make our way through into the next screen. Go, that's that one. You will get a trophy also for uh, learning the dwarf language. Whoa, you can understand the dwarf language. We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. Several dwarfs have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened. The door to the forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarfs have been found. Okay. So we've got to go and hunt down some dwarfs. Goes Baron. We'll grab him in a sec. Oh, 
Get the boomerang. Right. Now to deal with Baron. First things first, though, we still have a few more dwarfs to rescue. Gotta be careful because we've got a few evil pigs that are playing slip and slide, bleeding surf rider here. Like so. As you can see, we did just take a bit of a hit. Oh! Body daddies. Son of a bitch. I hate those pigs, they really are annoying. Oh, it's at least stick with Baron, cool. That's helpful. Oh, get out of it! Ideally, if you can grab hold of these things, you can essentially dodge them all. They will deliberately try to take you out. As you can see, they're literally following me all along the track. We've used the, uh, what you would call it, to stay safely out of their way. I was doing really well up until that point as well. Got seven lives, not dive once until that point. Certainly better than last night. Huh? Puppy ran away. Oh, I needed to take him to town first, didn't I? I forgot. Son of a diddly. Right, I'll go back and get Baron in a second. I am such a nana brain, I completely forgot about that. I hope I can still get Baron back. I hope I can screw myself because that would really upset me now. You no, know, he's just gone straight back to where he was. Thank God for that. Which means I just have to go back up and grab him. There we go. Okay, so let's go and drop Baron off at town, then we can go and grab the last of the dwarfs. We need to take Baron whoops, up to this hut at the top here and talk to this female dwarf here. Well, what have we here? Oh, this little guy looks hurt. Let me take a closer look. Hmm, this will take some time to heal. Why don't you leave the pup here with me for a while? Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. What's his name? What? He doesn't have one. Come on, you can think of something. Baron? Alright, Baron it is. Healing helps. Uh, healing herbs will help uh, heal any kind of wound, but they only grow on Phoenix Mountain. It's too dangerous to go there uh, now though, because the winds are too strong. Get out of my way.
Dang it! Jumping pants. Because that will definitely come in. Oh my god, the sudden. Will you get off my seesaw? I'm rocking it about like that. There we go, got him. Good grief. Sniff, sniff, I can't get down. I was also looking for flower seeds, but I couldn't find any. I just want to go home, sniff, sniff. You'll take me home? Thanks. Okay. So from here, we're going to actually head up here. Because there's one more thing we can do while we're here for the time being. Besides playing dip, duck and dive with all these scaly things. Uh, we can push this boulder down and it will hit the seesaw at the bottom, sending this fella up here all the way to the top and busting that and bringing the mirror down. Grab the crystal ball that was on top of there. Ah, no! How do you respawn so fast? No! Let go of me! Good grief. I hate those things so much. They are so, so annoying. Right, back to the village we go. So you're the one that helped my boy. You have a very kind heart. Here, please, take this. It will help you. And we acquire some cheese, which is linked to another quest later on, but we'll get to that later. Dwarfs are all cheering for us.
Oh, you saved the villagers, thank you so much. The Dwarf Elder is very pleased you should talk to him. And we are certainly going to do that. Ah, the courageous young man, I am the Dwarf Elder. On behalf of everyone in this village, please allow me to thank you for saving our friends and family. As you can see, our village does not have much, but I hear from the hundred-year-old wise man that you are looking for the evil pigs. Ah yes, here it is. And we acquire the evil blue pig bag, which right now we can't use. But we will, eventually. The hundred flower forest. This is the evil pig bag for that pig. The bag will help you find the evil pigs when you're near the pig's hideout. The bag will reveal the evil pig gate, the entrance to his hideout. But remember, the evil pigs do not hide in the places where they have cast their evil spells. Also, each pig has only one bag that can seal them away. In other words, there are a total of seven evil pigs, one of each evil pig. The evil pig bags should be near the places that have been cast under a spell. Find the bags and you will find the evil pigs. Be careful, you must not underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There's no need to guard the deep forest anymore. You may pass as you please. Well, first try Phoenix Mountain. It used to be a really peaceful mountain, but now there's those awful storms. It must be the work of the evil pigs. And he's not wrong. Phoenix Mountain is probably one of my most annoying areas to go through, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. So we're going to make our way to the far, uh, to the um, mountain, as he suggests. do that we have to make our way through here again annoyingly I'll teach you to try and jump me I'm heading this way. Oops. To get to Phoenix Mountain, we have to sort of go near. Well, actually, we do have to go into the laughing and crying forest. Which is just here. Oh. God. Oh, for crying out loud, I couldn't land on him properly. I tried to jump on him to get rid of him, but I couldn't seem to land properly. There we go. Let me just save my game here a second. Let's not make any more mistakes. Okay, so... I was rather hoping to avoid stepping on the just yet. Oh no! I fell through. I did not mean to do that. But it does clear the, uh, the laughing and the crying, I suppose. No! So 
what I'm looking for, by the way, folks, is I'm looking for, I'm looking for a normal white coloured mushroom. Fucking hell. Hang on. I'm getting my lives back that I just lost because that's ridiculous. I shouldn't be losing them to that. Come on. Darn it. Really? Did that seriously just happen? Come on. Mountain up ahead, stormy mountain, dangerous strong winds. I'm guarding this place by order of the elder, but it's really boring. Oh, it gives me time to practice. What? Practice? Will be my dream. Well, my dream is to be a famous actor. I want to make. Uh, I want to be an actor that can make people laugh and cry, but it's really hard. I'm not sure how to express emotions. So we need to make him laugh first, then cry. Okay. So the reason I picked up that white mushroom is because we're going to need it to transform back once we've done this. So what I'll do is we'll get rid of this douchebag here and we only actually want to go as far as here because both mushrooms we need are literally right here. Thank goodness. That face, that expression, it's great. Hmm, I see now. This is really useful. And you will bag a trophy as well for doing this one. Hmm, but there's still something missing. What kind of face should I express for sadness? I think you get a trophy for this one as well, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, give me that. As you can see, the forest reacts to whatever emotion it is that you've got. I.e. sadness, or laughing, or normal. Let's see if I can master that laughing face and the crying face you just made. Hmm. Yes, I think I can do it with some practice. Thank you, you've led me on to something. Practice, practice, practice. I'm going to be busy now. Oh, I almost forgot, the Elder just went towards the mountain. He wants to see you about something. <coughs> you should go right away. Well, first things first. <coughs> We're going to cure ourselves, first of all, of our sad state, because if we go in there in a sad state, it's not going to end well for us, trust me. Did you feel that? You just felt the evil spirit inhabiting Phoenix Mountain. That's proof that this mountain has indeed been under, uh, cast under an evil spell. If you ever feel something like that again, <coughs> it means the place you are at is under a spell. Look for the evil pig bags in those places. The key to finding the evil pig bags is to search the areas that have been cast under a spell. Okay. 
Okay, well, uh, we're going to end the episode here and we'll tackle Stormy Mountain next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, then do let me know in the comment section. Smash that like button. Be subscribed to the channel and I'll see you all next time for more Tombi. Take care.